All right, Ms. Blake, I understand the state was interested in putting an objection on the record relating to the manner in which uh, recross is being permitted. Yes, Your Honor. Um, we had asked to approach in a sidebar about that. At this juncture, Mr. Pryor has been allowed to do a recross on almost every one of the state's witnesses, and I think it's extending beyond any new matters that may come up. So we're just objecting to the generality of him getting to recross um, and would request that it be limited to only if a new issue arises so that we don't end up in a situation where then the state asks to do another redirect and, and go down that. And if I could respond, Judge me. You may. And quite frankly, Judge, it's not the prosecutor's prerogative or is it their uh, uh, um, decision to decide when I get a recross. That's the judge's decision to make. So I don't know where Ms. Gibbs thinks she has the authority or the ability to say when. Ms. Blake. Ms. Bl Ms. Blake is what I said, Judge, I think. I did say Ms. Blake, did I not? You said Ms. Gibbs. Ms. Gibbs. I'm, oh, I apologize. Go ahead. Ms. Blake has the um, ability to dictate uh, when this court makes its own independent decision when I'm permitted to have recross. All right. Well, evidentiary rulings and the way witnesses are examined are subject to rules as well as the court's discretion. Uh, certainly the state can lodge an objection and I'll pay attention to that. Uh, there is limitations on what is supposed to be allowed in the scope of redirect or recross. Uh, part of the reason the court has been pretty liberal in allowing that is sort of a, I understood, standing agreement between the parties that with certain witnesses, instead of calling them twice, once in the defense or in the state's case, again in the defense case uh, for efficiency purposes, getting them on the stand once. Uh, I permitted extensive uh, on some witnesses scope of cross beyond direct. Uh, if we are not going outside the scope as part of that agreement, then uh, I would agree that it's not proper to allow uh, recross every time. So I'll just watch for the topics that come up. And if we extend on cross beyond the scope and that's allowed, then that's where I think there's a second opportunity. So both sides essentially get a right to direct and cross a witness. So I'll just uh, take that under advisement for future rulings. Any questions on that ruling, Ms. Blake? Thank you, Your Honor. And the state does recognize it's clearly within the court's discretion. If we do have concerns in the future about a request for recross, would the court just like us to approach and then discuss that? I just don't think those are prejudicial for the jurors and uh, approaching slows things down. So just, so just make the objection. Just make an objection, I think, unless it's related to some specific topic that may prejudice the jurors. Let's just move it along. With and the, the state does agree that recross may absolutely be appropriate. It just seems that it is at times just rehashing the same stuff. Very well. Uh, it'll be under advisement for future rulings. We'll take our rest of our recess at this time. And... Uh, I do want to just briefly discuss the remaining schedule for today with council uh, right now on a sidebar, and then we'll take our break. All rise.